Hello everybody, welcome to the Truth Seekers channel. Today I want to talk about the Ijijis and who were the Ijijis or the Igigu. Okay, um, there are some pictures on the internet about with statues, uh, how they might have looked. Um, but it's hard to show some real images um, let's start with the wikipedia wikipedia says that the ijiji are the gods of heaven in east semitic mythology though sometimes synonymous with the term anunnaki in one myth the ijiji were the younger gods who were servants of the anunnaki until they rebelled and were replaced by the creation of humans the name has an unknown origin. The signs for the names and one of the options for the etymology for the Ijiji are I2, G3, G3, which are the same signs for 511 or 56060. 60. So that's 5 times 60 plus 60 is 600. 600 so this is uh, the explanation of the name in numerology it means 600 um, yeah so what does the ancient alien say um, yeah the term doesn't crop up a whole lot in Sumerian and Babylonian lore but where it does has fascinating implication who or what were the Ijiji they seem to be a lower rank of gods they were a servant class which existed before human beings were created this is at the website anunnaki.org when the gods man like bore the labor carry the load the god's load was great the toil grievous the trouble excessive the great anunnaki the seven were making the igigu undertake the toil this passage comes from the atrahasis uh, one of the old sumerian texts that was found in clay tablets um let's see in the orac museum igigu igigi a group of gods this semitic term describes a group of possible seven or eight gods the other website just said uh, there were seven anunnakis and not ijijis so call, according to the numerology there would be 600 ijijis mm, that would mean there might be 300 below or 300 above or there were in total 300 on earth mm, it's like the god Marduk was one of them but that was it's hard to prove if Marduk was a GG the only place you can find a bit uh, of evidence for that is in the code of uh, Hammurabi the code of Hammurabi uh, is a well-preserved Babylonian code of law ancient Mesopotamia dated back to about 1754 before Christ is one of the oldest deciphered writings of significant length in the world the sixth Babylonian King Hammurabi enacted the code in the big brick you can see it here let me remove my picture yeah it's there it's on a big piece of a rock and also on that rock they have a figure at the top of the steel fingernail above Hammurabi's code you would see the guy sitting down is just as tall as the guy standing up to so just imagine if he stands up he would be like two times taller than the normal average human so in the code it talks about it started with the introduction starts with when Anu the sublime king of the Anunnaki and Bel the lord of heaven and earth who decreed the fate of the land assigned to Marduk the overruling son of Ea 
God of righteousness, dominion over earthly man, and made him great among the Ijiji. So you can say he was one of the Ijiji, but he was made great among the Ijiji, so he could also be a leader of the Ijiji and not one of them. Okay, that was uh, the Code of Hammurabi, it was very interesting, you should take a look at it, maybe I'll make a video of the Code of Hammurabi and explain more about that code, very interesting, but now we're talking about the Ijiji, okay, we are the group of gods, we had that one, okay, the Ijijis were in the um, most books, the Atrahasis, it says that they were a uh, slave, they were used as slave workers. So 400,000 years ago, seven functional settlements in southern Mesopotamia include a spaceport ship Sipar, mission control center Nippur, a metallurgical center Shurupak, the ores arrive by ships from Africa. The refined metal is sent aloft to orbiters manned by Ijiji, then transferred to spaceships arriving periodically from Niburu. Um, 380,000 years ago, gaining the support of the Ijiji, Alalu's grandson attempts to seize mastery over Earth. The Enlilites win the war of the olden gods. This is like from the Zachariah Sitchin Earth Chronicles. He has his own theory of the Ijiji. I think he was one of the first that came with this uh, story or proof. But some say he's a Freemason and his story is not really the truth. But it's for you to decide. I'm not yet uh, sure of all these uh, facts or uh, all these uh, books that you wrote. I have to look at it, look into it myself. But let's keep on going. Another book uh, on the internet or one you can buy says um, which book is this uh, it's the 10th ed edition Anunnaki genetic creation of the human races gods angels by Maximilian de Lafayette he says Ulimi, Ulema Mordecai stated that the Babylonian scribes got it wrong because the Anunnaki and the Ijiji existed millions of years before Marduk was born In the epic of Atrahasis written around 1700 BC the Ijiji were ranked second to the Anunnaki because they were the field workers who fed the Anunnaki. Thus, the Anunnaki were considered upper class of the Babylonian deities. The epic tells us that the Ijiji rebels against the Anunnaki because the Anunnaki had assigned to them the task of taking care of the fields, digging trenches and feeding the Anunnaki. So they were digging rivers, uh, making rivers and mountains. That was what they were used for. Um, they had a strong fa facial features and lots of hair, and their appearance was not enhanced by their outlandish clothes. Nothing elegant or pleasant. Everything was made out of metal shields. They liked to adorn themselves with many iron bracelets and necklaces that sported strange insignia. That to anyone but an Ijiji would be quite ominous. Not very attractive species. Ominous. The Ijiji were 245 million years older than the Anunnaki in the terms of galactic civilizations. Wow, where did that come from? Um, according to the Babylonian epic of creation, Marduk divided all the gods and goddesses into two categories. Uh, the Anunnaki and the Ijiji. The Anunnaki became the gods of the underground, empire of death and earth. And the Ijiji became the gods of the heavens. Okay. The Ijiji, 300 astronauts who served the Anunnaki, revolts against Enki. 
Uh, you could see that in the Atrahasis, where they rebel against the uh, ruler Enki, they bore the labor. And what the consists about the EGG were being forced to dig a water course or river, they get tired of it, revolted against Enlil, one of the head of the Anunnaki. They burned their tools and surrounded Enlil's estate. When the Anunnaki realized that the EGG were, are not going to give up the strike, they decide it's time for a new solution to the labor problem, and that solution is the creation of human beings. Well, they went really fast from the strike and the rebellion to creating human beings. One of the questions was in Quora was what happened to the EGG after they rebelled against the Anunnaki and were replaced by the creation of humans? That is a bit uncertain. Uh, most time after rebellion, a rebellion gets cut down and the rebels are killed or locked away. But in this text, it was not really you could not really see anything about that. Um, let me see more about the Atrahasis. Complaints of the lower gods. When the gods were men, they did forced labor. They bore drudgery. Great indeed was the drudgery of the gods. The forced labor was heavy. The misery too much. The seven great Anuna gods were burdening the Ijiji gods. So there were like seven Anunnaki, Anuna gods, that ruled over the uh, 300 Ijiji gods. And uh, Ijiji in numer numerical uh, meaning is 600 so they were like in total 600 maybe they were 300 below on earth and 300 above in the heavens or 300 on mars and 300 on earth um the gods were digging water courses canals they opened the life of the land the igg gods were digging water courses um the Ijiji gods dug the Tigris River. They dug a whole river. That's like tremendous hard work. And the Euphra, Euphrates. Thereafter springs they opened from the depths. Wells they established. They heaped up all the mountains. They even heaped up the mountains. That was really hard work. Um, several line missing. Years of drudgery, vast marsh, dot dot dot, vast marsh, they counted years of drudgery, dot dot dot, and 40 years, too much, dot dot dot, forced labor, they bore night and day, they were complaining, denouncing, complaining, muttering, mm, muttering down in the ditch, let us face up to our foreman, the prefect, he must take off our heavy burden upon us. Enlil, counselor of the gods, the warrior, come, let us remove him from his dwelling. Enlil, counselor of the gods, yes, remove several lines missing. Now, them call for battle. Battle, let us join. Warfare, the gods heard his words. They set fire to their tools. They put fire to their spaces and flame to their work baskets. Off they went, one and all, to the gate of the warrior Enlil's abode. Dot, 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 insurrection of the lower gods. It was night, halfway through the watch. The house was surrounded, but the god did not know. It was night, halfway through the watch. Ikur was surrounded, but Enlil did not know. Travel lines missing. The great god sends a messenger. Enlil was sleeping. The great gods, they also sleep. That's same as we humans. And... It doesn't say we have set an excavation. Excessive drudgery has killed us. Mm, our forced labor is heavy. The misery too much. But it doesn't say it goes piece missing. Dot dot dot. And then suddenly they are making humans. So one theory is that they let the Gigi live. And. Um, have them uh, do other tasks and uh, created the humans to the hard labor to build the mountains and rivers 
Mm, Enlil, let's see, Ijiji was scripture. Ijiji is a term unknown origin. Mm, this text doesn't know exactly where the Ijiji term come from. How here is how it is spelled. It's a bit strange signs. Mm. Let's see here. What does this book say? Uh, this is when the gods were men. The gods were men. The word angel is not mentioned in the Bible until Genesis chapter 16. Psalm 8 5 states that we were made a little lower than the angels. The ancient Sumerian myth, myths reveal that the Ijiji were flesh and blood beings who were required by the Anuna gods to dig irrigation canal and do manual labor in Mesopotamia for countless years. When the Babylonian creator god Marduk agreed to create a man to do work for the Ijiji, the mm. Ijiji were indeed the angels of the Bible who were created. Um, Ijiji were finally freed from their labor. Mankind was sought for the same kind of freedom ever since. Um, they had their offspring then became subject to the whims of the Ijiji gods, the men who were there before them who controlled the land and all of its resources became, became their slaves and were thereafter called the black-headed people in Sumerian literature. They were called the black-headed people. It's also interesting. They and their offspring then became subject to the whims of the Ijiji. Disobeying God by the eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, Adam and Eve found themselves cast out of God's protected environment. They and their offspring then became subject to the whims of the Ijiji gods, the men who were there before them, who controlled the land and all of its resources. They became their slaves and were thereafter called the black-headed people in Sumerian literature. Hmm. Sounds a bit like uh, the fallen angels and the book of Enoch. This connects the fallen angels with the book of uh, the Ijiji. The fallen angels with the Ijiji. So the, this book says that the Ijiji were kept alive and the humans lived together with the humans later on. Mm, which book was this? The genetic uh, the 10th edition. Oh, yeah, Lema Mordecai. Jesus became gods of the heaven. I had that one already. Uh, above secret. This is one uh, theory of uh, Michael Tellinger. Inanna liked to roam the lands and look. A took a liking to the people who in the upper plain of the two rivers dwelt. They were the Ijiji who descended to earth from heaven, from Lamu, Mars. The Ijiji Aryans moved east. Following Inanna, they called her Ishtar to the Indus Valley region, Arata, and laid the foundation of the Indo-European culture. So according to Michael Tellinger, another researcher of Sumerian culture, the princess Inanna, from the Anuna, Anuna clan or the Anuna aliens uh, moved with a team of Ijiji astronauts to raise a civilization in the plains of the Indus Valley. The word Aryan seems to come from the combination Ayur, life, plus An, sky, space, those who live in the space. Later this word became a general label to, to define the descendants of the crossbreeding between the Anunnaki and the humans of that region. Okay, there's a lot of stuff on the EGG on the internet. I say you should take a look for yourself and let me know what you think about the EGG. Thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel.